Alrighty guys, welcome to a new little mini series I've got going on here. I've got the next five days to fully immerse myself in a completely new region of Michigan for me. I'm going to be exploring, fishing, off-roading, and of course living out of the truck for the next five days. Let's get it. Got it. Got him. So sick. Alrighty, alrighty. Welcome back to yet another video. I just stopped at a really beautiful little park, grabbed a quick lunch, and yeah, I'm back on the road again. Um, and I'm doing something today that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. I just stopped at a fly shop, picked up a map and a couple of flies, and I have not done any fly fishing in a long time, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit rusty, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm fishing today at the legendary Osaba River in Michigan. And I've never fished it before. It's like probably the most well-known trout stream in Michigan and really one of the most famous ones in the entire country. So I can't believe I've ever never fished it before, but I know very little about it. Um, so I got picked up a map of all the access spots and I spent way more money than I wanted to. Dang little flies, they add up so fast, but it, whatever, it support local business. And the guy was super, super nice and cool. So I, I was, it's all right, I'll, I'll live with it. This, this trip is very spontaneous. I got work off kind of unexpectedly, so it is today Wednesday and I've got the rest of the week off up here. So I'm like, might as well come up north and that is what I'm doing. This trip is pretty cool because this is like the first trip in the truck that I have really no set plan. I have a general idea of where I want to go in Michigan, but at the same time, like I've never, I don't know anything about this area and I'll kind of share with you guys where I'm going later, but I know nothing about this area not familiar with it like the last couple videos where i've been camping so finding a spot to camp is going to be a little bit of a challenge but yeah i'm going to get back on the road hopefully I can catch some trout tonight got to cook up some dinner and of course find a spot to spend the night so i'll get you guys when we get there let's get it Alrighty. Alrighty guys. Found a little access spot thanks to our map. And I'm actually really excited. I've been craving to do some fly fishing for a while now and to finally do it on one probably the most well-known river in Michigan, one that I've wanted to fish for many of year. Got the truck all locked up and let's get to the river. Walking a bit upstream now and I'm just really just getting the feel feel for this river and I'm really looking forward to this. It has been way too long since I've cast a fly rod. This is gonna be fun. Got a nymph tied on. Just gonna find a decent looking little run and fish it for a little bit. It's a beautiful river. I can't believe I've never fished this river before. Oh, there's a mink over there. That's cool. I don't see those very often. Oh, he's coming right in front of me. Look at this. That is cool. <laughs> he's got a fish too. All right guys, so I've been fishing for probably about an hour. I've yet to catch anything, but I switched up to a dry fly and I'm actually getting some eats now. But hopefully, starting to see a decent amount of rookies. But hopefully this move will at least get me a fish here in a minute. I prefer to be using a bit lighter rig. Oh, there we go, got one. <laughs> As I was saying it. Bring him in. It's a little fella. A little Berkey. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, wow. 
Wow, look at the colors on that brook trout. First I'll sable, I'll sable river fish ever on the dry fly. Pops right out. Wow. Gorgeous little fish, but we're looking for much bigger, so we're gonna get him right back. There he goes. That's cool. I'm sure as the later it gets, it's probably when the big ones come out. Oh, another one. Oh man. That's cool. Two casts in a row. Man, what is this? That looks like a baby rainbow. Yeah, looks like a rainbow. Second trout on the fly. Dude, that's a beautiful rainbow. Holy cow. I actually want to catch this guy. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. All right, another trout. All righty, fish number two. Get him back. This is the fly fishing only section, actually. I just found out, I saw signs, so. Unfortunately, that means no keeping fish tonight. It's just perfect looking. Alrighty guys, so I finally made it back after a long hike to get back and I'm pretty dang exhausted. Um, <clears throat> Only caught the two small trout. I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring, but it's about seven o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna head back into town, look for something to eat, probably just get a few gas station snacks, then come over, and I think I found some state land that I might use to camp on. So I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring. If not, I'll probably just come back to here and camp for the night. It's not a nice, super ideal spot, but I think it will work. Head back into town, and I'll guys catch you guys in a second. I don't know. State land means it could be a good spot to sleep. That's what I'm kind of hoping if there's a trail back there. I might as well go check it out. If not, I'll probably just head back to that spot that I was just at. There's a ton of access points though. Well, let's go check it out. Alrighty guys, so I managed to do it again. <laughs> I think this is all state land in this area. I haven't seen any no trespassing or private property signs, but apparently this road actually has a name. And as you can see, it's really not a road at all. It's a pretty, pretty tight two track here. And I think this is about a half hour drive and it's supposed to be a fishing access at the end of this, right to the Asable. Oh boy. Oh, this gets really rough. According to the map, this is all state land and there should be a fishing access somewhere back here. It looks like I have like another half quarter mile or so to go until I get to the north branch of the Asable, but Either way, I'm spending the night somewhere in here. Okay. All right, guys, so I think I'm finally close to the river. Oh, I think it's up, up there. Hopefully, dude, it's taken me so long to find this access. I'm going to give this a little bit of a go until probably about nine o'clock, and then I'm gonna find a spot to camp. All right, guys, so the fishing didn't pan out. It was just a pretty sketchy, remote-looking spot. And I'm on my way back on this two-track. I thought it was just kind of a total bust of a night, but I saw this spot, this two track, and look where it goes. Dude, what a view. That view is insane. And dude, I could totally bring the truck right here and have an insane overlook. Oh my goodness. That is unreal. Nothing but woods, that's so beautiful. Now the only problem is, I'll show you guys what I have to get up to. I really don't think this is meant for cars up here. Because it's all sand and it's, there's a spot where the sand gets pretty thick. So I'm not 100% sure how comfortable I feel of getting the truck up here. But if I could get it up, that lookout is insane. I'm going to see if it's possible, but I really don't want to get stuck at the same time. Alrighty guys, I tried really hard, but I'm not sure if I can make it up that hill. You can see... See my field attempts right there, trying to get up. That sand is just really deep and I really don't want to risk getting stuck. I'm even, in, I'm in four wheel drive already too and I just, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. I might still go up to the overlook though and at least try to, at least try to get a decent view while I eat some food and stuff. But unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna happen. 
to get the truck up there and be able to sleep up there. But oh well, I might give it one or more <laughs> one more try, and maybe if I kind of lead into it and get a bit of a speed, maybe I can get it just far enough. But I don't know. It's pretty risky. I don't know if I want to push it. Yeah, yeah, I pushed it. But I just got the, the mosquitoes have just come out and they were absolutely horrible. So I got the lights on. I jumped in the back of the truck and I am not sure if I'm going to leave this again. I am a bit slanted, a bit down, but I am parked for the night and I actually made it up the sand dune. So yeah, I made it up. You guys have no idea how nervous I was about that. <laughs> I really did not want to risk it getting stuck or anything, but... Um, the sand was super deep, but I just kept going in reverse. I would speed up, get up a bit further. I came back down, reverse, all the way back down, gained up some speed. And then I think in like the third or fourth time after going right back up my trail, I just slowly kept getting further and further and I was able to get to the top of that ridge of the gravel is solid again. And I pushed it all the way up and I made it to the top and it's a pretty incredible view. <laughs> Easily by far the best view <laughs> so far in the truck camper. I didn't know if I was going to top the first night in it, but this is pretty unreal this lookout i have so but yeah i'll give you guys a full rundown i didn't end up even cooking any dinner tonight i was just i'm, I'm exhausted and starving and very low energy the fishing just did not really pan out today but it's all right i still have all day tomorrow and i still have my end end, end destination to get to yeah i'm gonna get situated and get ready for bed i'm exhausted All right, guys, it is, I think, like 10.30, almost 11 o'clock. Absolute whirlwind of a day, but and it's going to get cold tonight, too. It's supposed to get down to, like, 50 degrees, so we'll see. We'll see if I get cold, but, yeah, I'm going to get to bed here soon, shortly, and, yeah. All right, guys, I think I'm heading to bed. This is really just the start of this trip. Hopefully, we can cook up some breakfast and stuff in the morning. Hopefully we can actually catch some fish in the morning, and yeah, hopefully it's a good night tonight. Hopefully nothing crazy happens, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Oh my gosh, guys. There is my view I get to wake up to sun coming up that is maybe the best view i have ever woken up to and look there's the valley and i'll zoom in and you can see then i just zoom out and here's where i'm sleeping <laughs> this is um, amazing if it didn't get so cold last night that would be one of the best nights of my life tonight last night when decently well it stayed nice and quiet just listened to the birds all night and uh, it was yeah it was really peaceful it did get super super cold last night actually i woke up i slept good until about 5 30 and then i woke up and it was just freezing cold i looked at the temperature it got down to 45 degrees last night but yeah i'm gonna start getting around i'm really really hungry i'm gonna cook up some breakfast and yeah let's get up for the day My word. That is an unbelievable view. I can see, I don't even know how many miles it's gonna be. It's gotta be like at least 20 or 30 miles way off in the distance. I think the river is just down there a little ways. That was not, not smooth. Oh my word. What a morning. What a day to be alive. This is unreal. People will literally pay thousands of dollars for a camping spot like this or to have, you know, they'll pay like a stupid amount of money to have property here or to get to a place with this kind of view or to have a cottage here. And <laughs> for free, I just bring up the truck, bring up the truck camper, park right here in this overlook, all for totally for free. Not a soul in sight.
Alrighty guys, so I'm just about to head out of here and time to get in the road again. Hard to leave this spot. But now for the fun part. I got it in four wheel drive. I gotta get back out of this spot. <clears throat> should be interesting. It should be, if I had to guess, much easier than coming up. But I think I'm just gonna hit it hard and fast. Alrighty guys, here we go. Gonna go for it just fast. <laughs> Come on, truck. Woo! Woo! We got it. All right. I figured that'd be much, much easier than getting it <laughs> than going up. Dude, look what I just saw. Another two track just around that bend. And I just checked Google Maps. And this one takes you up to the lookout, too. This is way easier than the route I took. Oh, uh, well, I pushed the, tr the truck and struggled and stressed for basically nothing, but yeah, I, j I just took the fun way. That's what I'm going to tell myself. All right, guys, just made it uh, to the North Branch, and I just talked to the first other fly fisherman I've seen this whole trip, and just a an really nice older fellow gave me some information. I'm in the North Branch of the Osalo right now, and he was here because he said this is the coolest water in the area right now. So I think I'm doing the right thing. But he also said that there really, there's a lot of rookies in here, but just really not much size. And July is a tough month for him, the bigger ones. He said a good fish in here is about 10 inches. There we go. Another little guy. And it's a chub. Of course it is. My word. Ah, today ain't it. Alrighty guys, so I just packed up, got off the river. It's about one o'clock now. Fished for like, I don't even know, two, three hours. And I think I was planning on spending this whole day at the Asabal, but yeah, I think I'm gonna bail on the Asabal for I think just the time of years off, not a lot of size, not much happened. Got a decent amount of small trout and dry flies, but nothing too crazy. So I think I'm gonna head out of here and yeah, let's go get it back on the road. Alrighty guys, so I just made it to Atlanta. No, not Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Michigan. Apparently there is an Atlanta, Michigan. So I'm here at this park right next to this lake and I am going to make a lunch because I'm absolutely starving. Macaroni and tuna. Real classic macaroni and tuna. Oh shoot. What I just realized, I don't have a can opener. Alrighty, the knife coming in clutch again. Alright, first time I get to use my silver drawer. Get this guy out. Should be perfect for. Alrighty, meal is done. Simple meal, but very, very much needed. Alrighty guys, finished up lunch. I still gotta wash the dishes. I'm gonna wait for a better spot to do that though. Picked up a drink, which I desperately needed. And yeah, not much here, so let's get on to the next town. Uh, I'm gonna do a little exploring, scout a new area, try to find a spot to camp. Let's get back on the road. Alrighty guys, 
so I just made it to the spot. I found some state land, and this looks like it could be a good, decent spot to sleep tonight. I am just outside the town of where I've been meaning to go, and that is Alpena, Michigan. I have been fortunate. I've been fortunate enough to see almost every corner of Michigan. I've been to the west side of the UP, seen the majority of the UP, um, and I know the, like the entire western shore of the lower peninsula like the back of my hand i've lived there i've spent i've been there countless times on the western side and that, the west side of michigan kind of gets all the rap all the all the spotlight and glory and rightfully so there are some just incredible beaches and stuff and incredible little towns and unbelievable beaches and sites and everything on that side of michigan but one spot i've never been to is the northeast side of the lower peninsula so the alpina presque isle area is the goal of my trip i know absolutely nothing about this area this area is completely new to me and i just thought it'd be cool to see a new area of michigan somewhere that really flies under the radar and goes overlooked most of the time and just i figured i'd take the next two three days and just fully immerse myself in a completely new experience and see what this whole area of Michigan has to offer and just don't know a ton about Lake Huron in the area so I figured it should be a cool opportunity to do this trip but yeah I'm gonna like, head into Alpena probably in here pretty shortly pick up some supplies like really the only major city in this entire idiot area or town or I think it's it's a decent size it's got like a Walmart and a Meyer, which is nice then I need to find a decent place to camp tonight and figure out a game plan for the next two days but I'm really excited Alrighty guys, just made it into Alpena at the marina right now. I'm gonna just go walk around, check it out, see what the city has to offer. Let's get it. Legit first cast in the Alpena Harbor. I never have luck harbor fishing, so that is awesome. Nice little largey. Alrighty guys, another beautiful night. Just on some state land, no, nothing too remote or anything, just outside of town. There's a bunch of state land around here, which is really nice, but got the truck camper set up for the night and the mosquitoes are really bad, so I'm going to hurry this up. Oh. So that is this is pretty much the end of day two. Oh. Walked around downtown Alpena for a while, caught a few bass in the river, and listened to some live music, and yeah, tomorrow, I think I've tried to decide what I wanted to do first and kind of structure my the next two days in this area, but I think tomorrow, I'm plan the plan is I'm going to hit a lake that I've been wanting to hit for a long time. It's a really big, crystal clear lake with a bunch of islands to check out, and so I think that's the plan. Tomorrow, I'm going to spend most of the day fishing. Gonna go to bed early tonight and wake up really early. Hopefully can get a bit of a top water bite in the morning and then probably head back here to Alpena in the evening. And yeah, I'm gonna be fishing up in Presque Isle and come back down here. Apparently there's some sort of festival that sounds pretty dang cool down here and tomorrow that kicks off tomorrow. And I'll explain more about that tomorrow, but yeah, I'm gonna get situated, try to get to bed early tonight, eat a few more snacks to hold me over and yeah. Yeah, just another cozy chill night in the truck. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> 